We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Stuart Carlo, who is Chief Research Officer for ABI Research. Stuart, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. My pleasure. Stuart, can you tell us a little bit about ABI Research and, uh, and some of your findings? We're a global market intelligence company founded in 1990, and we are tasked with charting what the most influential factors of today are, but also looking at what the connected world of the future looks like. So. Uh, some of the things that we're seeing as being important for the future technology markets are hyper-connectivity, uh, the pillars of cloud, and, and, and the, really the interconnectedness of things that otherwise weren't connected, whether it be critical infrastructure or, the, or, or even services that we wouldn't have heard of today that are emerging due to cloud service opportunities. Now, ITU is going to be focusing heavily on uh, cybersecurity, which is very, very much a topic on the agenda at uh, ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok. Uh, and I believe you're, you're involved with, uh, with that pavilion. That's correct. Um, as a market intelligence company, we look at trying to chart what's going to be most influential in forming the future. As part of that, obviously, we see cybersecurity as a cornerstone of, of pretty much everybody's experience of the connected world of the future. And given the focus that we see from ITU uh, Telecom World, um, we felt it was important for us to invest as part of, become a partner of that event, but also um, to help highlight our work with the Global Cybersecurity Index in partnership with the ITU. And what is the Global Cybersecurity Index? Um, in essence, it's a measure of readiness of countries' ability to combat or resist cyber attacks, whether it be from cyber terrorism or cyber jihad or even just plain old hacking. Um, we measure uh, countries across five different pillars, capacity building, technical measures, organizational measures, legal measures, and also cooperation and uh, inter working with other nations or the, the private sector. And, and we tier those countries in three different tiers. And the, the overall goal is to try and provide, firstly, a sound bedrock whereupon a country can understand what its, uh, its shortcomings are, but also where it's been successful, and then provide a springboard for future enhancements throughout that country, whether it be in partnership with the ITU or private bodies in order to improve their cybersecurity levels. And what are the major trends that you've been seeing? Um, I think the biggest thing that we've seen as an organization is that um, obviously awareness has raised significantly, but we are beginning to see a world that's becoming ever more connected. Legacy infrastructure is now being connected to the World Wide Web and to the cloud, and therefore we see a, an enhanced need for uh, cybersecurity not only to be an afterthought when you're connecting things to the to the to the essentially the cloud, but become a central tenet of the approach to how you can facilitate bring in infrastructure into the new world. And, and can you tell us a little bit about how you'll be involved with the ITU Cybersecurity Pavilion at ITU Telecom World 2013? We have a booth um, at the show where we're going to be looking to showcase some of the work we're doing alongside the, the GCI and the ITU. We're also going to be involved in some of the panel sessions for the, the conference itself and hopefully uh, our biggest um, benefit of attending is going to be networking with some of the most important influencers um, in the industry as a large to, to help build some, some consensus around our ongoing efforts there. Stuart Carlo, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.